hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm gonna do a very old-fashioned dish called turn cornmeal and this recipe is the traditional jamaican way of preparing turn cornmeal this is how i saw my grandmother my mother my great grandmother cooking turn cornmeal so this is about one and a half cups of water on medium eat but I'm using a small burner to it I am gonna add around about half teaspoon of salt to the water I am also gonna add one stalk scallion this is half of one clove garlic piece of fresh thyme and one pepper I did not cut the pepper because I do not want the turn cornmeal to be spicy I just wanted to have a bit of a flavor a spicy flavor but not spicy so I removed the stem of the pepper so that the flavor can steep through right here and I am going to remove it before I add the cornmeal. So I am going to put everything into the pot. And I am going to allow that to cook for like five minutes. So I am going to cover the pot. And remem <clears throat> remember, this is the old-fashioned way of cooking turn cornmeal in Jamaica I love the old-fashioned way of cooking Jamaican food I am so happy for my grandmother and my great-grandmother and my mother as well who are still able to guide me because traditional food is what I love okay people so five minutes right and now I am removing the pepper and I'm gonna dis discard it I am also removing the garlic I know garlic is good for you but not everybody likes garlic so what I did was to just boil the garlic for five minutes so that I can get the flavor as well as the pepper my family don't like garlic but me cook with the garlic i'm gonna remove the garlic but i'm not gonna throw away the garlic i am gonna put the garlic in my food and eat the garlic however i am removing it because i don't want it to be in the cornmeal or get lost in the cornmeal and then i might end up putting it into somebody else's plate rather than mine because they don't like garlic Okay, people, so I am cooking the cornmeal porridge, not the cornmeal porridge, the cornmeal, the turned cornmeal, the traditional Jamaican way. So I am using refined cornmeal. This is one pound, one pound of refined cornmeal. So refined cornmeal is better than the other types because it takes a, a shorter time to cook. So now I'm going to pour the cornmeal into the water. I am not going to put it into a container and stir it like I am making porridge. I'm not making cornmeal porridge. I'm doing turn cornmeal. Right? So while you pour your stir, excuse the noise, the background noise from the fork and everything like that. All right, just stir. Use the muscles in your hands and stir. All right. This is the traditional method of cooking turn cornmeal in Jamaica and that's what I'm cooking right yeah turn cornmeal traditional style just stir just stir 
Okay. Yeah, man. Traditional style. When you put the cornmeal into a container and stir it, that's, that's making cornmeal porridge. I'm not making porridge, I'm doing turn cornmeal. Different method. Right? Yeah, man. Make sure that the heat is on low. You want to work with low heat. This is three quarter cup of coconut milk. I'm going to pour it on my cornmeal. I'm not going to use all at once. I don't think so. Let me see. Just pour it and stir. And this is the traditional way of preparing turn cornmeal. The best way. Traditional way. So I'm gonna put the remaining, pour the remaining coconut milk. So you see when you, you turn the cornmeal using this method, when you're eating the cornmeal, you can taste the coconut milk stand up in the cornmeal. Not to mention the seasoning. So let me see now. I'm not sure if I will be adding I will be adding water to it. I just have to wait and see. So what I'm gonna do now is to cover the pot. The heat is on low. So cover the pot and make the cornmeal cook. The cornmeal have a cook and steam and everything. So I will be back. I am back. So Five minutes later, let's have a look at it. The heat is on low. Carmilla steam, as you say in Jamaica. So guess what? Put a little piece of file paper over the pot and cover it. Just leave it, right? The heat is on low. You want to make sure that the heat is on low. That is very important because you want the cornmeal to take its own time and cook properly because as we say in Jamaica, if you eat raw cornmeal, it will swell your belly. So you have to allow the cornmeal to cook properly. So you can turn up the heat under the pot and then the cornmeal will burn up and not cook properly. So the heat is on low. It has steam right now. Just go watch TV or do something else and just allow the cornmeal to cook for one 20 minutes. Then I'll come back and look at it. People, 25 minutes later, let's have a look at the cornmeal. I am currently frying some fish because that's how my family likes. Um, turn cornmeal and fish, whether stew fish or brown stew fish, or whether I am doing brown stew fish. So let's have a look at the cornmeal. So I taste the cornmeal. And watch the fork. No, the cornmeal is cooked. Oh, you know that the cornmeal is cooked. The cornmeal is smooth. You taste that smooth texture. One minute. Okay, now back the television. I put it on mute. Now, all you know the cornmeal is cooked. When you taste the cornmeal, you should taste that smooth, silky texture. When the cornmeal is not cooked, you will taste the grain. It will taste grainy, as we say in Jamaica. So right now, it has that smooth, silky texture that tells me that the cornmeal is cooked. So what I'm going to do now is to turn off the stove. 
And I'm a, I am going to allow it to rest a while before I dish it out. However, I am going to like off cover the pot because I do not want I do not want it to sweat. So I'm going to leave it like that. So I'm cooking some fish. So I'm going to plate it to show you what it looks like when I'm finished cooking the fish. Stay tuned. I should also mention that I like my cornmeal when the texture is between wet and dry. Some people like it when it is wet and some people like it when it is dry. While some people like it when it is between wet and dry. So I am in that category. So this cornmeal texture is between wet and dry. Okay people, so this is it. Turned cornmeal and brown straw fish. Look at the cornmeal. This is how I like it. It's between wet and dry. Texture is smooth. You can taste the coconut milk. And this is the fish. Fish and turned cornmeal, that is the thing in Jamaica because fish complements the turned cornmeal a lot whether it's steamed fish or brown stew fish man it is nice just like how my granny taught me to make it mm. authentic Jamaican turned cornmeal So, if it, some people after they eat turn cornmeal or they drink cornmeal porridge, them stomach burn them, as they said. What you can do is to drink a glass of milk. Whether you want to drink, whether you want to drink milk or almond milk, just drink something like that. Yes. So remember to subscribe to my channel and to click the notification bell that is very important so you will know when i uploaded new video to this channel thanks for watching hey, 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 man. Hey, me